Hello everyone. In this video, we will take a look at how we can use CSS variables inside of Ionic 4 to customize a theme color for the Ionic application. And we will also see how we can use CSS variables to target the specific component, for example, iron button, and then only change the color for that component and not the system wide color. So first we need to make sure we have ionic installed on our system for that we can type ionic dash v and after that we can create a new ionic project by typing ionic start then the name of the application which will be ionic for css variables in my case after that we have to specify the template and I want to use a tabs template so we can add tabs and at last we have to specify the type and I want to use angular in this project so I can write angular and after that we can press enter so this will create a new ionic project and now it is installing the dependencies now the project is created successfully so we can open the project inside of our editor as I am using VS Code, so I have opened the project inside of VS Code and now we can open the terminal and then hit new terminal and then we can run the application by typing ionic serve. Now this will go ahead and build the project for the first time and then it will open it inside the browser. So this is how the ionic project with the default tabs template looks like. And now we can close the terminal window and then we can go to source app tab1 and then tab1 page.html and here inside of iron card content we can create a new iron button so we can type iron not card button and then I want to name it tab1 button all right and we can give it a color of primary so we can add color equal to primary all right so now we can save it and here in the browser we can see tab one button with the primary color and now let's add the same button inside of tab 2 so we can go to tab 2 tab 2 page.html and then inside of the content we can add iron button color equal to primary and we can add tab to button all right and now we can see tab 1 has a tab 1 button and tab 2 has a tab 2 button they both have the primary color and now using the css variables we can change the primary color for the entire application or we can target a specific element like iron button so if we go to variables dot css file inside of theme so here we can see we have defined all the colors for primary secondary tertiary and so on so if we change the color here so let's say we select here and we select some different color so maybe this one and then I save it so you can see inside of the browser we have that tab 2 button with the primary color and now the default primary color is that green one but it is different on hover because we haven't updated all the colors and also on the bottom we can see for tab 2 which is active tab the primary color is changed and same for tab 1 and the tab 1 button color that means if you want to update the theme for our application then we can make changes inside of variables.scss file ionic also provides us with a theme generator so we can use that and then we can just copy paste the variables and then our theme will be updated so if we go to ionicframework.com theming slash color generator so we can select the colors here inside of the drop down and let's select that red one for primary so it will also provide the different shade colors for secondary let's use a blue one all right and let's keep the tertiary success and warning and so on like this 
So now if we scroll down, we can see our CSS variables are generated at the bottom. All right. So we can actually copy this and then we can paste it here. So we can actually remove that and paste it. All right. And now if we save it, we can see in the browser now the color for the tab one button is changed to red and also this time we have provided the hover color so this is also some red tint similarly if you go to tab 2 the result is similar so you can play with the color generator and then change the colors here to maybe any color and then see on the right hand side how this will look inside of the application where we will change the colors here we also have the option to see the color generator inside of iOS or material design. So this will look different depending upon if you select iOS or material design. So this will look material designish on the Android side and iOS on iPhones. So now let's see if we want to change the colors for only a specific component so let's say for this tab 2 button and we don't want to change the color inside of entire application so let's see how we can do that now we can go to our tab 2 page.scss and then we can directly access ion button all right so inside of that we can specify the css variables so if we take a look at ion button API inside of ionic docs and we scroll down to the bottom here Here we can see the CSS custom properties section So these are all the properties that we can define or change for iron button. So let's try changing the background So if you remember currently it is some shade of red. So if I add background and maybe I pass yellow all right and i save it so here in the browser we can see it is not taking that yellow color in the background this is due to we have specified color equal to primary inside of the iron button so inside of our editor we can go to tab page.html and then we can remove color equal to primary all right and then we can save it and now we can see the output with the yellow color but the hover color is different we can also update that let's change the text color also so if you go to iron button and we scroll down a bit so we can say we can use this dash dash color css variable and then we can change the text color of the button so we can go to our application and then we can go to tab 2.page.scss and here we can go to dash dash color and maybe let's use black for now so now you can see we are getting that yellow color with the black text and if you go to tab 1 we still have that uh, red button all right so what if we want to change the iron buttons inside of entire application in that case we can put the iron button css property inside of variables.scss so we can actually cut it from here and then we can paste it inside of variables.scss and then we can save it we also have to i think remove color equal to primary from here inside of tab 1 so then we can save it and now we can see the iron button is changed system wide so inside of our tab 1 we have that yellow background button with the black text if you go to tab 2 we have that similar button all right so similar to this you have all these different components so let's say iron card and if we go to the bottom here we also have the css properties that we can change so iron card has background and the color similarly if we go to some other so let's say i chip and we scroll down this also has these custom properties all right